beginning of 1923 at the dedication of the Alaskan Railroad. So these last two locomotives here, they are referred to as our war babies because they were both built during the 1940s. Uh, so we have 6325 built in 1942 and then 763 a couple years later in 1944. Now this is a local build for us, 763. It came out of Lima, Ohio, uh, built for the Nickel Plate Road Railroad. And that was hauling perishable goods between New York, Chicago, and St. Louis. Uh, now right now, it does hold the title as our largest here in the collection. Uh, this weighs a little over 400 tons with its tender. But again, going back to the beginning of the tour and talking about wheel sizes. Uh, both of these wheel sets are going to be taller than we are. Uh, so these ones are hitting 60, 70 miles an hour, still hauling all of their freight behind them. Uh, now, 763 does have a sister engine, number 765, that is housed out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. But every year it comes local to the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Uh, they have what's called steam in the valley in the last two weekends of every September, I believe. So if you'd like to see something like this run, very local opportunity to us. Now, 6325, this locomotive was built for the Grand Trunk Railroad out of Michigan, and this is our presidential engine. So in 1948, this actually pulled Harry Truman's re-election campaign uh, when he was running against Thomas Dewey. There was a famous photograph of the end of that election of him holding a newspaper saying that he lost by a landslide, when in fact he ended up winning um, from that same election time. Now, both of these locomotives are built towards the end of the age of steam, so they're built to be fast, efficient. Uh, they're actually considered mid-sized locomotives, uh, but there are a couple differences between the two. One of them being the bells. So take a look at the two bells and tell me what you see. That one's brass and that one. Well, they're both brass, maybe. So it's the materials that they're made out of. Yeah. So 6325, that is an original brass bell, which was standard on everything else we saw today. Uh, but 763 is actually steel painted yellow. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the wartime restrictions on brass between 42 and 44. The government was rationing all of that for the war effort. Now, this locomotive, this primarily works in the state of Pennsylvania for the car industry.